Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. Yes, so today in this video, we are going to see about the lighthouse. So what is a lighthouse and how does it helps uh, the performance testers, the performance engineers to get more information, get more, get more results in terms of uh, fixing the bottleneck so in this video we'll see how to use the uh, lighthouse and we are also going to see uh, the various ways of connecting it the various ways of uh, doing the performance testing using lighthouse so to start with um, let me first introduce what is a lighthouse so to open lighthouse um, just press f12 in your uh, browser uh, it can be any browser it can be chrome uh, firefox or edge go to the lighthouse so this lighthouse here is actually an open source and it's an automated tool which actually help you to improve the quality of web pages yes we all know uh, we were doing uh, we, are, we were using the web applications for booking tickets for booking uh, uh, policies for uh, traveling for watching videos so everything for everything we use the uh, web pages or the websites right so we can run it on any web page it can be public or if it requests any application so it has audits for performance so when i say performance here on the right side you can see it actually uh, uh audits for the categories like the performance the accessibility the best practices the seo and much more and we can run lighthouse in the chrome dev tool so that's what you're seeing here so this is part of one of the uh, dev tool like we have other options like we have network we have performance memory application and as part of that we have the lighthouse as well and this um, uh, i mean if we give the lighthouse a url to audit it actually runs a series of audits against the page and then it generates a report on how well the page performs and we are going to see that now and by using the audits using the failed audits as indicators uh, we can uh, use it to improve the page and each audit has a reference that explains why the audit is more important and as as well as how to fix it as well so uh, the first option uh, in fact there are like several options i would say like uh, we can use um, the lighthouse using chrome dev tools and we can use it from the command line we can use it as a node module and we can use it from a web ui as well so for now in this video we're going to first see it uh, we're going to see how to run it how to run the lighthouse in using chrome dev tools so like i told you uh, visit open the website and then go to lighthouse uh, click f12 and then open the lighthouse and then here we can see uh, what type of mode do we need to uh, navigate like is there going to be a navigation so that's a default one and then we have the time span then we have the snapshot so first let me go through the navigation option and then we have two options one is the devices like uh, the mobile or device or the desktop so mostly we are using desktop for web application so i'll choose desktop for that and then the categories so in case if you want to look it for uh, accessibility or for the best practices or for the seo we can use it so let me choose all of these and then let me click on analyze page load and this will actually give us the results like this will run the audit for like 30 to 60 seconds and lighthouse will give us the report on the same page now and let let me just explain you like how does it help and then you will see the other mode as well yeah so here we see yep the performance for the performance testing channel yes it's 100 percent so which means the reason is the first contentful paint actually takes 0 0.6 seconds the largest contentful paint takes 0 0.6 seconds the total blocking time there is no total uh, there is no not at all any blocking time and the cumulative layout shift is because the page is already shifted properly so there is no cumulative layout shift and the speed index is 0 0.6 seconds so that's why the performance is really better i mean like really good and yeah and again on top of that um, even this actually gives me some more suggestions like uh, to minify the javascript yes i am using javascript in this uh, video in this page so it is recommending me to minify the javascript um uh this application yes and in fact i have a separate video on how to minify the javascript as well so in case if you wanted to watch the video please do watch that and then we do have the serve static assets within with an efficiency efficient cache policy yes we have to do that and it is asked, telling me that there are some third party resources that can be lazy uh, while it is loading yep and that has to be removed that has to be fixed and then we have to remove duplicate modules in javascript bundles so i have to go through the code so all these actually gives you as a developer or as a performance tester to understand what exactly is happening and it also tells me that to reduce the unused javascript 
So let me just quickly show you the code as well. So yeah, so these are the JavaScripts which I have uh, for my uh, website. So um, the video options for JS. Yep, I, I, there are like a lot of options because I can remove all the white spaces and the other options as well. And then in the install options for JS, yes, there are like other options, uh, other ways where I can reduce it. Yes, so I'll do it um, to reduce it. And then yeah, we'll see how does it improve and avoid anonymous network payloads. Yes, we'll have to fix it. And like, like all of these, um, there were uh, lots of other suggestions. Yes, so this actually will help you to improve the performance like if the backend works fine and these uh, respective suggestions actually will help you to improve your performance and then when it comes to the accessibility yep it tells me clearly that the background and foreground colors do not have sufficient contract ratio yes, because everything looks white right so there is no difference between the background and the foreground colors it has to be like a little bit different like it has to be like a little bit uh, uh, a way where it has to be contrast but here the contrast ratio is very less so that's why it says me that there are opportunities to improve the legibility of the content. Yes, that's that's uh, understood. And yep, we'll, we'll make those changes. And uh, yeah, so like this, we can actually see lots of other uh, uh, ways where we can uh, improve the performance. Like it, it tells me that the document does not have a meta description. Yes, that has to be improved. So all these by fixing, like once you keep on uh, continuously fixing all these, your web applications will really perform well. Yeah, by the next time you see me, you see your website, there'll be like a little bit of uh, improvements that I'll make it from this video. But yeah, so these are the parts which, which you wanted to fix it and then uh, we have tested with the first option right let's again go back to the lighthouse refresh the page uh let us again where are you yep yeah, and even you can um, uh, get, save this as a HTML and you can share it with your team. You can even uh, save it as a JSON. So you can uh, to share it with the team, right? So you have to, at the end of the day, you have to share it with your team to understand like um, how well, uh, because it's not just about you, like how, what do you understand about that? In fact, let me show you. Uh, or, I can, or I can show you this one, click on the three dots, open in viewer, yeah. So this one, yeah, this will actually give you a clear report on what is happening and how how does it work, right? And then the next part. So let's move on to the next one. So click on the time span, the same options in terms of devices. And when it comes to categories, you only have options of performance and best practices. So let me click on start time span. So this will actually do a time span testing. So time span uh, part where it will help you to understand like what happens when it in, in terms of so yeah in navigation yes that'll that, that's how the normal uh, 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 sort of users do but when it comes to time span there will be a little bit of changes which you can expect to see here and let's wait until this gets generated yep so yeah enter the time span interact with the page yep let me just click on it jmeter intermediate yep interacted with the page and then in case if i want anything I can click on it. Yep. So it's opening the end time span. Yep. Now I have generated enough information. So this is something like where we do the record and replay back with the tools. Yep. It's now generating me the report. Yep. So as you see here, this, I mean, like, it's not just only about the loading of pages. It's also about the navigation as well. So you can do the navigation like how we do for the applications. And this will actually give you the, uh, the capture response time for you like it will tell you like what happens when you are doing uh, the transactions as well right and then we have another one the third one which is the snapshot so, so again, again same thing snapshot with the devices and the categories and when it comes to snapshot we do have performance accessibility best practices and seo click on analyze page one so lighthouse is getting information about the page to compute the score and yep uh, in terms of performance yes we have got three out of three I have to avoid excessive DOM size. Yes, that's acceptable one. And when it comes to accessibility, yes, again, the same thing. The background and foreground colors do not have sufficient contrast ratio. And the best practices, yes, I have successfully <laughs> passed all the best practices, all the past audits, which are where I'm allowing the users to paste into input fields. I'm displaying the images with the correct aspect ratio. I'm serving the images with the proper resolution, and I'm having a metadata um, metadata uh, meta name and then i'm having a page that has the html doc type so all these are the best practices which i have to which i can use to improve the seo and seo is very important right if you have your application the moment you search it has to, I mean, like google has to bring your application to the top of the search list so in that case yes you have to have a better seo so in in my scenario is i have a four out of five seo which i will keep on improving so that my websites will 
be on the top of the page when somebody tells such as well it tells our youtube channel and yep so with this uh, i think i have explained to you about the three options which you have which you can try one is the navigation the time span the snapshot and then yeah we'll we'll also try the navigation part for the mobile as well and let's see how does this work so you see when you are changing it to mobile automatically the layout of the website the application will change into a mobile layout and um, it will show us like in terms of mobile what are all the changes that you would expect to do let's wait for that yep in terms of mobile yes my application is quite uh, performing uh, less because previously it was like 100 in terms of uh, desktop application but when it comes to mobile it is like 88 percent so by doing this you can understand like what how will your application behave uh, in a in a uh, desktop or in a mobile so this will actually help you to this way of uh, understanding or this way of doing it will help you to understand uh, what are all the blockers you have what are the bottlenecks you have in terms of your applications or web pages so I believe you would have understood um, how to do or how to understand the UI related performance testing and in case if you have any doubts or any queries please do reach out to my um, uh, comment section and ask me or you can also reach out to my whatsapp channel as well so until i meet you all in our next video it is bye bye from us and your favorite youtube channel take care and bye bye